Today's promise is found in Matthew 17, verse 20, and it reads, And he said to them, For truly I say to you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible to you. Have you ever wished that you had more faith, stronger faith, deeper faith? Sometimes we think that if we can only muster up more faith within ourselves, we can accomplish great things. It's a great misconception for a believer to think that power is sourced in faith in itself. Many times in his teachings, Jesus spoke about the power of faith. He used metaphors to explain what faith is and how important it is. A mustard seed is very small, but it can grow very large. In Jesus' day, the mustard seed was used proverbially to represent the smallest of things. The mustard seed in Jesus' example symbolizes the potential in faith. By using this illustration to describe faith, Jesus is directing our attention not to the quantity or the strength of our faith, but to the object of our faith. Our faith is only as strong as the object in which it is placed. If our faith, even if it is the size of a mustard seed, is placed in the all-powerful God, great things can and will happen. In essence, the Lord is saying, it is not necessary to have great faith. Even a small faith is enough, as long as it is faith in the great God. What is faith? Hebrews 11 verse 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Verse 6 clarifies what or who our faith should be based on. Hebrews 11 verse 6, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Putting one's faith in Christ is an important step. It is not so much faith in itself that can move mountains. It is the God of our faith who can move mountains. The power of faith reflects the omnipotent nature of the God who bestows faith on his own. The Lord is trying to teach us in the illustration of the mustard seed that little is much when God is in it. Peter had a little faith and walked on water. A bleeding woman had a little faith and was healed after twelve years of no hope. A little faith enabled the blind to see. A little faith brought the dead back to life. The reason our faith is described as little is exactly that. Our faith has little to do with us and everything to do with the God in whom we place our weak, erring faith. Faith has nothing to do with personal self-effort and has no reliance on human strength and wisdom. It has everything to do with a God who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all we can ask or think according to His power that is at work in us. Do you have mountains in your life you wish to move? Facing them can be difficult, but when the uphills in our lives are met with God's promises, His power and His majesty, they begin to appear as anthills in contrast to our God. The most amazing thing can happen when we let God's word trump our thoughts, desires and emotions. That's the moment we become fully persuaded by God's power that He can and will do the impossible. The impossible isn't always a big miracle. Oftentimes, it's changing us from the inside out to believe in God more than we rely on ourselves. In the parable of the mustard seed, the disciples could not heal a demon-possessed boy. After Jesus healed the boy, the disciples came to him and asked why they could not heal him. He said, Because you have so little faith. They needed a faith that totally depended on God 
and to humble themselves completely. Jesus wants us to believe in our hearts and minds that He can do anything, being fully and wholly dependent on Him. If faith is a self-emptied, dependent assurance in the character and promises of God, then that faith will only pursue things that align with God's character and agree with His promises. True faith is aligned with God's will. As our roots grow deeper and we grow in God's word, we will come to trust Him in all things. No matter what mountain lays before us, we merely need to shift our eyes to the one who can move the impossible. A deep-rooted faith will give you the strength you need to navigate the trials of life and allow you to flourish no matter what life brings your way. No matter what mountain stands in front of us, we can boldly come before Jesus and place it at his feet. Whatever we think is impossible, God says he has no limits or boundaries. His power makes all things possible. Let us cling to this promise when we are faced with mountains in our lives that seem insurmountable. Instead of focusing on how big the mountain is, focus on how big your God is. When we are at our weakest, He is strong. When we are hopeless, He is hopeful. When we doubt, He breathes a fresh wind of faith into our spirit. When we are faithless, He gives us the faith of a mustard seed. You can trust God to work a miracle when you face any mountain in your life. Don't second guess the God of the impossible. Pray knowing that God makes all things possible. If it is in His will to do so, nothing can hold Him back. We serve a mighty God. Let Him show you His power and glory. Let us pray. Dear God, I am so weak and frail, but You are all-powerful. Thank You that my hope doesn't rest in the strength of my own faith, but in Your strength and Your faithfulness. However small it is, Keep my faith focused on you alone. Comfort me with your character and your promises today. Help me place my will in your hands. Keep me in your word so that my faith is rooted, grounded firm and deep in the foundation of your love. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for watching this video by A Promise A Day. We hope that you've been blessed. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel so you can receive a promise from the Word of God every day. God bless.